there was a sea snake there. Well, sea snakes are a lot more deadly than any of the any of the land animals, any of the land snakes, and uh, so that's why you don't get in the water around here. Doesn't take long for the predators to come in. Hey, John. Well, I didn't bail the bilge out today, so I got the pepper all uh, washing around in the bottom here and all my bag and stuff's got two inches of water in it. Uh, so that leak that was down there, it's uh, still leaking and um, it's just on dark and we haven't made it to the island but, um, but we're just making our way making our way over to a calm anchorage now so um, we're on the motor charging the batteries up a bit we had a bit of a drama this afternoon it was pretty rough so i haven't been able to do any filming but um uh the um the dinghy which we're now calling the sea anchor it um filled up with water because it leaks a little bit and, and started getting waves into it and so i had to dive into that and bail it all out while we're in the middle of a big chop and that so it was pretty scary but but anyway we, we got it bailed out just in time so that was lucky because if it had sunk on us we would have had to cut it loose so anyway we're gonna organize cooking up some dinner now and um and we should be over at the island soon it would have been good if john bought a boat that didn't leak Or even better if he just bailed it out every day. There we go. Now I can cook it. Okay, I'm just about to cook dinner. Uh, John's pulling up the dagger boards, that's what the big noise was. But uh, so dinner tonight comes out of a packet. We got pork rice. We got uh, a can of corn, or a bottle of corn, and we got two packets of tortellini, uh, mushroom sauce, and bacon. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Anyway, uh, chuck it all in a pot, and cook it up, and uh, this cooking on a boat's easy. Well, it's a beautiful morning. The sun hasn't quite come yet. If you've been wondering where we've been sleeping, that's where. And there's Johnny over there. Say hi to the camera. <laughs> um, he's a bit camera shy this time of the morning. <laughs> anyway. side pocket over there, we'll just cut it off. But we should go another two knots faster without the dinghy. One to two knots. Drag along behind. Especially when it's full of water. is still broken but uh, it's a beautiful morning so we'll try and make uh, Crocker Island again. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Uh. Oh, well. She'll be right. <laughs> Okay, today's going a lot better. Got rid of the dinghy, it's up the front. And um, sail along at six knots, 10 to 15 knots of breeze. And today is much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look around. Beautiful. Yep. So, where are we going tonight? Croker Island. <laughs> Wasn't that where we were going yesterday? It was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll go for Croker Island again. <laughs> yeah. It might be again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Anyway, this is day four. We're just making our way along Croker Island. waiting for grab the camera there you are look at that John's trying to keep the boat out of the reef oh barracuda oh yeah 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 <laughs> Sharp teeth. Sharp what? It's all bad. <laughs> so the first good fish was caught with the, uh, the commercial dollar bomber. So uh, and it's a barracuda. Not an overly big one, but big enough for dinner. They could eat. And uh, what a beauty, eh? <laughs> Bet you wish you up here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lose your testicles. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we saw these barracuda working, we saw the birds working, um, catching the fish, the barracuda chases up the bait fish and the birds catch what's left, right? And uh, so we trawled over near them, spot on. Uh, just a little one, but uh, we haven't had any fresh meat for days, so we're going to have barracuda for dinner. Okay, we got the birds working there again. We're heading over to have another go. Oh, and another rod's running too. We've got two, two big fish on. This is why you come up here. Now I've got 60 pound line on and uh, a homemade lure. And this fish hasn't surfaced yet. We're just working him down. He's wearing me down too. And we've got another fish on the other rod. So once we... Um, That's caught in that roller there. You've got to be careful of that with these rods. The, the fishing line gets between the roller so it doesn't drag. Uh, low battery warning. <laughs> That's a good sized trevally. Yeah. <laughs> And we've got one here already, so we, we're not not probably going to keep this one, but uh, we'll kiss him and let him go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Valley. Oh, oh, mate. And they're off. <laughs> Hey. Can't put a fish in his mouth. <laughs> oh, the, the two trevally are fighting over the lure. <laughs> All right. This is a dangerous move, but uh, it'll be funny if it doesn't work. <laughs> What a fish, what a good looking fish. Yeah, I got the rod. Mate, what a fish. Top stuff. That's why we come up here. What a beauty. 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 <laughs> All right, close That trevally we just caught, I've cut the fillets off. We're still under motor. We're motoring up through the channel. So instead of lighting the, the barbecue and cooking them up, I'm going to make some nummers. It's quite popular up here in the Territory. And just slice up the, the fillets into uh, thin slices, marinate them in a bit of vinegar, and then chuck in some chilli sauce. All the labels have washed off me bottle, bottles because everything in here is wet. But, um, but anyways, nonetheless, still be a beautiful feed. Well, you wouldn't believe what just happened. We uh, were just motoring in on the GPS, watching the sounder, coming into a, a little anchorage that's marked here, and um, and we hit the bottom at 30 feet, and uh, which is impossible. We looked over the side, and there's all the oyster nets running up the channel. We'd motored up the middle of the oyster nets, and and as we turned in, hit hit the oyster net, and um, uh, but luckily we pulled the dagger boards up and drifted back off it and uh, mowed it up between the rows and now we're safely anchored at the end of the rows. Um, so, but talk about crapping yourself. Um, anyway, now we'll sit down and have some hummus and, and get ready for bed. I mean, sorry, nummus. It's dawn. We just mowed it up last night through all of these uh, oyster nets here. And we were really, really lucky that we didn't get tangled up in them. They're not marked on the chart. We mowed it up through those and anchored up over here. 
we did hit one, but um, <laughs> then, then we kept a good eye out after that. And that's uh, the oyster station over there. And this is how much current we've got at anchor. So you don't want to fall overboard. Because that would be two knots, two knots of current and you couldn't swim against that. That's where Johnny nearly loses the winch handle. <laughs> All right, we're just sailing across to that point over there this morning, but uh, uh, we actually ran out of wind today. So hopefully when we get out there a bit further, there'll be a bit more wind. But um, uh, uh, yeah, because we've only got three drums of fuel, because John said that's all we need to sail a boat. And We've still got 400 nautical miles to go, so yeah, we can't afford to motor very much. Last night when we uh, uh, came in over the oyster nets, uh, John chucked the motor in reverse and the leg popped up and hit the hole there. And uh, But as you can see, we haven't damaged the prop, but that was just a bit lucky. <laughs> but it gave us all a scare.